of a relationship than it is to just let it run wild. Now, uh, what is your particular situation, Um, my life just walked down with the line between the nose and the other Did, uh, you know that this you had an affair with that? Um, I'm not sure about it. How long have you got together? Um, about so much. Yeah, that is, uh, it's a very short, uh, marriage, uh, how long did you guys know each other before you got married? Um, about a year now. What do you think about me, Andrew? Uh, I really like she's a foreigner, and I don't know, she used me to get for the sort of green card to do it. But that's not wrong, though. That didn't make you hit me, right? Uh, no. So it doesn't have to at all? No. Well, if, did you know that going into the situation? Um, no, she gave me the green card, no. You didn't have anything about that? Um, no. Uh, why don't you just get the, uh, the marriage and all? Oh, that's what I'm doing, but it, 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 if I want it, it's pretty difficult to prove it, to, to, to do it. Yeah. And it doesn't give the highest chance I can just do it to you and all Well, in the eyes of God, the concern here is that um, that if you are uh, going into marriage with, with the idea of divorce being an option, that it, it just becomes a problem. People get lost in, well, I can do this, and I can get out of it, and everything becomes temporary. What I don't want you to go into marriage is thinking that it's like a Dixie cup and can be thrown away. And that's why divorce is, is so important to God. But there is an understanding, and if somebody breaches the contract, and you're not the one that breached the contract, um, then there is always the possibility and the option for uh, remarriage. But I wouldn't recommend getting remarried anytime soon, Andrew. Obviously, there's not anybody in your life, correct? No, I don't have any plans. I just, just had, a, had a couple of I just wanted to know what, what the church answer is, but that's a pretty controversial question. Hmm. And during the year and a half, you didn't notice anything about whether the the relationship was real or not? Uh, no, I, it's, I, I love her very much, and I, I, it goes back to time that just didn't but really know it. Mm. It, it, it's difficult sometimes. The key is to not be blinded. Love is a wonderful thing and a very powerful thing, uh, Andrew. But it's also something that can, uh, as they say, love is blind, and you should keep your senses about you. Uh, during the process, uh, if you find somebody, and I would recommend uh, spending a lot of time to get to know yourself and why you would choose somebody like that, and how you got so far in a relationship that really was uh, synthetic, uh, I would uh, I would definitely focus in on that before I got into any relationship whatsoever with the opposite sex. You are listening to the Jesus Christ Show. I'm Jane Yamamoto, live from the KFI 24 Hour Newsroom. Thousands of flights across the nation have been canceled this holiday weekend at LAX. 20 flights were canceled in the past day. More than 3,500 flights have been canceled throughout the country since Friday. Delta had the most cancellations with 240 flights yesterday. Officials at Delta say bad weather in some areas and air traffic control actions caused the flight cancellations. Los Angeles County has purchased $750,000 worth of baby formula to try and help with the current shortage. County Supervisor Hilda Feliz says the first shipment is expected to arrive this week and will be distributed to the Department of Public Health Nurse Family Partnership Program. The Department of Children and Family Services is purchasing $500,000 worth of infant formula some of which is already being distributed to families in the child welfare system. The closure of one of the U.S. largest manufacturing plants due to contamination started the shortage. FDA officials say baby formula supplies will not return to normal levels until July. Triangle, Triangle of Sadness, a movie about two models and a cleaning lady stranded on a deserted island with a group of billionaires is the big winner at the 75th Annual Cannes Film Festival in France. I wanted to do a film where I feel the audience is engaged and laughing and participating uh, at the same time as you have a content that is thought-provoking and that you need to discuss afterwards. Ruben Oslin of Sweden is the film's writer and director.
Now headed out to Inglewood for a crash on the 405. Still over that black on the northbound side of the 405 in Manchester Boulevard. This is of the tramp block. Looks like it's slow as you approach. See the Arcadia area. You do have that crash clearing on the 210 East Line of Chancellor. Push to the right shoulder. Traffic's a bit slow coming away from Michelinda. And to Anaheim Hills. Look out on the 91 East Line of Weir Canyon. A crash blocking the right lane. Might see some fog in the Cone Pass area. 15 shots on at Oakville Road. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. I'm Jonathan Weiss. This is Jacob Emrani. If you've been in an accident, call 844-24-JACOB. Southline weather from KFI. A wind advisory in the Antelope Valley area remains in effect until 11 o'clock tonight. Gusts could reach up to 60 miles per hour in foothills. Sunny and cool this morning in Metro LA and Inland OC. Later, sunny and breezy highs in the mid to upper 70s. Sunny today in the valleys and Inland Empire highs in the upper 70s. And at the beaches, morning fog turning to sunny skies later today with highs in the low 70s. Weekly local watching the KFI 24 hour newsroom. I'm Jane Yamamoto. I'm Rick Edelman, inviting you to read the June issue of my monthly newsletter, The Truth About Your Future. You'll see how the great resignation is becoming the great reimagination. And is the 60-40 portfolio dead? Also, how to generate retirement income during inflationary times. How your brain ages over time. All about the White House executive order on crypto. Two ETFs I really like. An interview with medical futurist Dr. Daniel Kraft. Seven tips for personal cybersecurity. Plus... Jean's monthly column featuring her word of the month and Q&A, where I respond to reader questions. Every month, you get 16 pages filled with the information you need about the five personal finance topics that matter most. Longevity, retirement security, exponential technologies, blockchain and digital assets, and health and wellness. Subscribe now for just $79 or get the digital version for just $49. Go to thetruthayf.com to subscribe. Thetruthayf.com. Hey, drought is here, Southern California, and we need to do everything we can to save water, not only for today, but for future generations, like my grandkids. My favorite way to save is to water my plants early in the morning to reduce loss from evaporation. This is how we save water. For more water-saving tips and rebates, go to BeWaterWise.com. After a serious accident, you need to pull Green Mile. Why? Because only the most experienced lawyers could handle these large and complicated cases. And win settlements that are often up to 10 times the original insurance company offers. Jacoby and Myers has been the choice of your friends and neighbors for more than 50 years and been voted the number one personal injury firm in Los Angeles for the past three. Get serious. Choose Jacoby and Myers. 800-992-2222. Saving money feels pretty good. Allstate. Better protection costs a whole lot less. Visit Allstate.com or call an agent for a quote today. Americans don't trust big media. That's why millions have made the switch and watched Newsmax. They even use the free Newsmax app on their phones. They watch the Newsmax team with Rob Finnerty, Eric Bowling, Diamond and Silk, Huckabee, Rob Schmidt, and more. Newsmax is on all major cable systems. If your system doesn't carry it, call them and demand Newsmax. More than 20 million Americans have made the switch to Newsmax. Make the switch today. You won't go back. We know you can't get enough of your favorite flavors. Luckily, Ralph's Free Pickup makes it easy to grab what you need without any surprise fees. Whether it's extra buns for the barbecue or the chips you just can't quit, start your cart with the Ralph's app. Ralph, fresh for everyone. $35 order minimum restrictions may apply, subject to availability. Here's a great way to save at the pump. Earn double fuel points with your digital coupon every Thursday through Sunday through May 29th. Exclusions apply. See coupon for details. Injured in an accident? Visit superwomansuperlawyers.com. KFI AM 640. The news. What it means. Why it matters. <laughs>
not everybody receives them or wants to come. Now, in the case of birthday parties, somebody just may not have the time. But I want you to remember this. This is the most important part, Cameron. And that is that every single person on earth that's ever existed, that's ever lived, will have the same opportunity to accept that invitation. But not everybody will. And so the best thing to do is to go through life being loving and kind and being an example that you think Jesus would be so that other people can see it and accept that invitation. And that's what I want from you. Okay, Cameron? Okay. Okay, and that's what's most important is to first understand that everybody gets the same chance. Nobody is better or worse than anybody else. Nobody is more loved by God or less loved by God. All are loved equally, but not everyone accepts the invitation just like to a birthday party. And in doing so, and not accepting that invitation, that they choose to not uh, receive certain things of God. And uh, as far as the complications, the theological complications that arise, and especially with the specifics of our Jewish brothers and sisters, they're referred to in scripture as the chosen people. And uh, there are some very uh, complicated theological uh, intertwinings when it comes to our Jewish brothers and sisters specifically um, that we won't get into for the sake uh, today. But what I do want you to take away and I want you to, to really think about is the, is the love that is in uh, the invitation that it goes out to all, that it is for all, and that as Christians, your calling is to not just preach and teach, because sometimes it seems Christians would rather preach and live in a way that teaches uh, by way of example. But you live in a way, Cameron, that glorifies um, other people, uh, glorifies God rather than God's people, so that others around you will look and say, wow, that's something different, that's something interesting, that's something that I want to know about. So that in hope and in faith uh, that you might see uh, friends and family uh, come to accept that invitation and therefore um, be with all of us one day in heaven. Edward, welcome to the Jesus Christ Show. Hello, Jesus. Hi, Edward. I'm feeling very compelled by being drawn to astrology. My, my friends all tell me I'm I'm sinning against your word, and I would very much much like to know your opinion sure. of, of what I, I'm doing. Edward, I'm curious why why astro astrology is so tempting to you. Well, my my girlfriend and my dad's fiance are both very much into it. Mm -hmm. I go to a place. It's the whole aestheticness, the symbolness. 
I, I don't know what it is, but there's something about the ballot book, candle, tarot card, the whole situation compels me, and I don't know what it is drawing me, and I'd like to know your opinion. Well, uh, the Bible uh, takes issue with astrology in a big way, and I'll get to those scriptures in a moment, but there are proper usage of the stars, and scripture talks about uh, the placement of the stars being arranged by God, that, uh, that there's specificity uh, to the stars, that they're where they are for a reason, and they're used for many things. They can be used to track location, they can be used to track time or season, like a calendar, but when you get into the arena of uh, astrology where where you can look upon the stars and they somehow can tell you things about the future is where scripture has problems yes. now uh, I'll, and i want you to hear how strong the, the words are here when it comes to astrology and this is in isaiah isaiah 47 we'll start in verse 13. you are wearied with your many counsels. Let now the astrologers, those who prophesy by the stars, those who predict by the new moon, stand up and save you from what will come upon you. Behold, they have become like stubble, fire burns them. They cannot deliver themselves from the power of the flame. There will be no coal to warm by, nor a fire to sit before. It's speaking about the uh, uselessness of the supposed astrology and how the astrologers never in scripture are a good thing and what what happens is people get caught up in wanting to know the future edward and this causes many problems one of which you stop trusting in god you stop you start worshiping the creation the stars you start concerning yourself with what creation is telling you rather than the creator you start, you lose focus in the other things of God and start to focus on what the future may bring rather than being in the present um, and understanding what God has for you now. These things are incredibly attractive, like you described, Edward. There's yep. something about it that gets your attention, right? Yep. But it's not real. It's, it's, it's like candy. You couldn't get nutrients from it. You look at it and it has so many vibrant colors and flavors but no nutrients. And astrology in this case are one of those things that um, people take very personal and, and they start to get upset when I say things like this and go, no, that, that, that why would God uh, you know, put these things in the, in the sky? A lot of the astrology, the zodiac, um, although you can trace it back for uh, you know, a millennium, uh, you have to understand that people use this as a way to not be accountable to God most of the time. To try and find the future, to understand things separate from God, not in conjunction with. Now a lot of these New Age movements and things like that will try and tell you that it corresponds with Scripture and it ties into God and it's just not true. And it can be very dangerous. It can motivate and move you from a proper path to an improper path because if somebody says the stars told them to. And it can break up uh, good relationships or put together bad relationships. And the interpretation of this becomes about the person interpreting rather than God. And even in scripture when it talks about those that prophesy, they, there is a, a standard in which is uh, set up next to that uh, prophet that if they're wrong at all in the things of God, then they're wrong all the time. If you, if, if you can't be 99% correct. When it comes to the things of God, you have to be 100% correct as a prophet. So these people that try and predict things get it wrong. Now, part of the, the, the substance of astrology or the zodiac or the silly horoscopes and things like this is that people are missing the big picture. That yes, people that uh, are born into this earth do interact with their environment. And that environment does motivate certain things about them, just as it has motivated, motivated through the centuries, uh, color of skin, or uh, the way they, they grow, adaptation. Um, it will also affect, seasons might affect, uh, personality traits. But that doesn't mean that you can look at a horoscope and be able to guess 
um, what someone's going to do or or how they act. And if you gave the same, you know, horoscope reading to, you know, five different people from five different aspects of the zodiac, but told them that it was their zodiac horoscope, they'd tell you, yeah, this fits me, because they're generic. And my, my concern is, Edward, that you will get caught up in this, and that it will direct you away from God, and that your friends and loved ones that are telling you that it's, it's a problem, and that it could even be dangerous, are telling you the truth. Well, thank you very much. I, I very much respect your opinion, and thank you very much for enlightening me on this topic. You're welcome, Edward. I hope that you heed that, that instruction and that you steer away from the things that are going to pull you towards, uh, you know, towards the enemy. And I know it sounds dour, and, and it sounds like your hand is always slapped, you know, and Christians, it's always what I can't do or what I have to do or any of these things. But it's not because... The Father is a cosmic killjoy. Not that he wants you to steer away from things that are fun or that you enjoy. It's that there are things that appear to be fun or have the surface of something that is going to be fun for you, but really are problems. And when you start getting into these things, then you start getting into more. Now you start getting into spirit guides. And, uh, you know, these are really ways to reject God. They're false idols, and they're removing you from the presence of God. And I can't say that strong enough, and I hope that you receive it in the spirit in which it's intended. You are listening to The Jesus Christ Show. To ask your question, dial 800-520-1534. Day's coming. Time to kick off my leaving work early to hit the Rongo Lazy River plan. Oop, is this thing on? Don't. And now, the top five reasons to visit Morongo. Number five. Smelly. Okay. The boys of summer are in full swing, so don't miss a crack of the bat or any of the craft beers at Sideline Bar. Number four. Ashanti Live August 7th. Get your tickets now. Three. Do Memorial Day LA style at Fiesta Paso. Get a bacon wrapped LA street dog with jalapenos, mayo, pizza, onions, and peppers for $7.99. And the number two. Memorial Day freebie. Get a light up American flag one free May 30th. And the number one reason. This Oasis pool party is popping. Live DJ sets all Memorial weekend. Book a cabana and party like a rock star. Morongo Casino Resort and Spa. Morongo. Good times! Are you a real estate investor looking to refinance one or more of your properties? Most lenders only work with cookie cutter W-2 borrowers. At Cash Call Mortgage, we have loans designed specifically for investment properties. We qualify customers based on the cash flow from the investment property. Borrowers can get up to two and a half million dollars. That's right, two and a half million dollars. No tax returns or employment verification needed for our investment property loans. And absolutely no lender or broker fees. If you're a real estate investor looking to refinance a mortgage on one or more of your investment properties, give Cash Call Mortgage a try. To see if you qualify, visit CashCallMortgage.com or call now. Call 800-749-4192. That's 800-749-4192. 800-749-4192. Cash Call Mortgage is a DBA of Impact Mortgage Corp. NMLS ID 128231. Not all applicants will qualify. Equal housing lender. Licensed by California Department of Financial Protection and Innovation. Residential Mortgage Lending Act License Number 4131083. Not licensed in all states including New York. Call 855-657-9910 for licensing terms and restrictions. Or visit Cash Call Hey parents, have you ever wondered how to talk to your kids about the crazy things happening in the world? As great as schools can be, they often don't teach important things like hard work, how to start a business, the golden rule, or how the economy works. But kids need to learn about big ideas like these, which means it's up to you. So, how do you go about it? By telling your kids stories. And that's the power behind the beautifully illustrated Tuttle Twins book. The Tuttle Twins is a series of children's books that have sold over 2 million copies already. These books teach important ideas that teachers and textbooks don't really discuss. And they make it super easy for you to help your kids learn the values that our country was founded upon. If you want to help your kids understand how the world works, so they can be a positive part of it, go to TuttleTwinsRadio.com to get your set of books. 
you'll get a 35% off discount and free activity workbooks too. That's TuttleTwinsRadio.com. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Finding a great hire can be a challenge. That's why there's Indeed. Their powerful hiring platform makes it easy to attract interview on uh, hire candidates. Visit Indeed.com slash credit and get $75 towards your first sponsored job. Terms and conditions apply. Checking KFI traffic, we do have a crash in the Inglewood area on the 405 northbound La Cienega. That has the off-ramp block. To the Anaheim Hills area, 91 eastbound after Imperial Highway. We have a crash there along the right shoulder. And we have some road work in the Westminster area, 405 southbound of Bolsa Avenue. That off-ramp is... Right, right, right. KFI in the sky helps get you there faster. 